to share. Um, I've been working in the cannabis industry, I don't know, for like on and off over like a year and a half or some shit. I don't know. I'm not good with time. Anyways, so the work culture is quite terrible. Um, just feel disrespected on a daily that your managers can disrespect you, not respect your time. The patients don't respect you because most of them are not patients. Some of them are just recreational users. Therefore, they do not necessarily respect, for lack of a better word, the knowledge that you have or that you can share depending on whatever it is, strains, usage for when and why, um, THC percentages, terpenes, so many things, period. Period. <laughs> God, I'm such a dork. Anyways, so I have been considering stepping back into the cosmetologist world. I used to do hair. Um, I've thought about doing nails and most recently it's been about 10 years and I did my own set. Hey. and they look pretty fucking good I'm not gonna lie um, and I thought about doing eyebrows and I thought about doing lashes because I don't actually do hair full time nor really part time anymore it is something that I do on the side and I really enjoy but due to a hand injury in the past at the salon I used to work at I still have many complications and irritations when I do certain services so it wouldn't be probable that I could do back-to-back -back services so I don't um, that being said I do think that I can handle lashes I think that I could handle eyebrows I maybe be able to do nails but that wouldn't be what I necessarily want to do but I could do it um, so I have been searching for some type of education on lash extensions because that was not something that was taught to me when I was in cosmetology school. Uh, I went to cosmetology school back in, let's see, Leighton was born in 2010. So somewhere between 2010, 2011 is when I ended up going to school. Um, they weren't a thing. So now I really want to do it, but I also want to know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm trying to figure out where I can do it, but when I look online, it just kind of looks scammy. And honestly, I just don't fucking trust anything or anyone. So I walked into this place that my mom recommended today uh, called Lash Studio and asked them if they knew where I could find any education so that I could add this to my resume, things that I do, because it is something that I think I could step into and successfully do. Um, anyway, she tells me that, let me back up. First, she came out and she asked me, are you a cosmetologist? And I was just like, yes, you know, I used to do hair. But her question of, are you a cosmetologist? Gave me so much respect something that I've been missing in the cannabis dispensaries and it's just so so fucking nice y'all it doesn't really matter I'm saying all this to say this it doesn't really matter what your occupation is everybody deserves respect if they're bagging your fucking groceries god damn it they deserve respect you could be bagging your own fucking groceries like you do at Walmart. And honestly, that's a shitty place because they have billions of fucking dollars that they make but have almost no fucking employees. All the registers that used to be there, they're fucking gone. It's, it's shameful. And then when you do get help or something's slowed down because they're understaffed because our toxic w work culture is just fucked up, then it's not right we have to start respecting people in whatever position they are in I don't care if it's fucking McDonald's 
I don't care if they're fucking sweeping your fucking floors. Give respect to everybody. It's unnecessary to be so fucking mean all the time and make people all together want to quit their job and hide in their fucking house like I want to. Adding to our anxiety attacks, our PTSD, all those things are happening more and more personally for me when I'm working a fucking job. That is not how it should be. Anyways, that is my TED Talk for the day. Thanks for coming and joining and thanks for fucking listening. Hope you have a wonderful fucking day.